The true few years it now. Zidok Helen. Do you know a Brian Burnham? Just the youngin. Worked over the store. He's gone. Killed, I reckon. Killed? What makes you think that? Them's from out of town running a store. Taking business from the Order of Dagon. They Order of Dagon? That. What else can you tell me about this port? You just bring old Zadok a bottle of something nice, and old Zadok will fill your head. Awesome! <gasps> if you pardon my asking, have you lived here in this port all your life? Less thirty-seven years in old lady Warren's house. Before that, wow, you can ask multiple times, carry. and can he will can give rate. detail. Old lady Warren's, you live in the town poorhouse. Go and fetch me a bottle of something to wet old Zidok's whistle, and I'll tell you all. All right, sounds good. Yeah, I'll do it. It won't open. Cool, cool. It won't open. All right. The old drunkard knows something. I don't think it won't budge. Interesting. I should try to get past the police line again. Oh shit, a save point. The door is bolted shut. That's bolted shut. How do I get in there? It won't open. Okay. Oh, fuck me. I told you already. <sighs> all right, all right, all right, all right, Damn. all right, all right. I need to be more careful. Talk to you. Excuse me, Constable. Jack Walters. The uh, ropes. Alien ropes. What do you want? Could you help out a stranger to this fine port? Are you being funny? No. Not at all. I'm after directions to the First National. I hear they have a store in town. Innsmouth don't take too kindly to them from out of town. Get lost, stranger. Okay, everyone said I was going in the right direction, but the third time if I get that caught... That fellow was just stringing me along with a lot of nothing about nothing. I was heading the right direction. Um, let's check out the hotel. Because, I mean, the game very clearly wanted me to go in this direction. Nothing of interest. Nothing of interest. Oh, can I pick that up? No? Nothing of interest here. Worst case, I can load that uh, save back. A dusty assortment of old books. It won't budge. I mean, you tell me, guys, should I load that save again? 
you think I should go load that save, I'll go do it. Evening. Hi. My name's Jack Walters. I'm just visiting. You don't say, sir. Gilman. Charlie Gilman. I run this here hotel of an evening. You got any rooms? I'd not rightly know that for sure. All habits cleaning rooms at present. Them's from out of town can leave a horrid mess. <laughs> Talking to this fellow's getting me nowhere. And he's more than a touch creepy. If I need a room, and I'm desperate. Staff I'm home. Come back. Man, this game's really not like rewarding me for like ignoring. They're just like, nah, fuck you. Like, be careful and don't do dumb shit. Hi. You're not allowed down here. Get up. Okay. Son of a bitch. Um. I'll come back to that. I'll I'll keep checking other stuff first. Do you know the Burnham lad? He worked. Can't say I noticed what you're saying, stranger. It won't open. Okay. Oh. You guys are lying to me. How dare you? How dare you it toss my open. chain? It won't open. This town's deserted. Where is everybody? Just leave me be, stranger. Technically, you're the one that cornered me, dude. Um, where is everybody? It's very quiet. It's getting late, outsider. Folks as know what's good for them are safely bolted in their homes by now. Hi. Turn around. Go away. Move along, outsider. Do I have to wait a certain length of time? Now he's not moving. Oh, now, now he is. What happens if I come back? Cool. So I can wait for him to pass me here. How are you doing, priest? I am being snake eight. Uh, they burned a little bit, you know. Oh. They're still tasty. Well, they sure look nice, though. Yes, Pencil is cooking. Pencil is making uh, biscuits. Yeah, has made biscuits. Spinach biscuits are done. Biscuits. Yes. Where's the freaky fish man? Come on. There you go. I guess I assume they're freaky fishmen because, you know, Cthulhu. You remember the game? What game? The board game we played. Oh, yeah, we played, um. Oh, Cthulhu, Dark Corners. <laughs> I am not the freaky fish guy! Ooh, what's over here? It's unlocked. <gasps> yes. Why am I staring at the ground? Okay. 
close the door. So why don't you? Yeah. These shelves look light enough to put. Interact. Make it happen. You have to close the door first. Perhaps I could use them to block the door, to give me more time to look around. You pushed it past the door, sweetie. Mm. No, it's right there. Okay. It's literally in front of the door. Assorted paperwork, but nothing of any real interest. Can't see anything of use. Did that open the door? Hills empty. Nope, nothing important here. Yeah, don't sneak around when you're inside. Don't sneak around? A typewriter. Yeah, this is a very much a timing game. MRC. There's a bottle of an empty. Did it freeze on you? No. Nope. A typewriter. Okay. In the drawer is empty. Well, it's this is a timing game. Nope. Oh, nothing at the store may be low on stock, but it's immaculate. And I can't hear, so I can't help you with noises, so that's Yeah, cool. there's a there's a crashing it won't Sound. budge. Fuck. It looks like that? I need some sort of lifting handle to get it open. Wait, hold on. Oh, fuck me. Yeah, this is a quick timing game. That's why I said it gets tense sometimes. You can buy yourself more time by uh, closing things off, but then you have to fucking work quick to find as much as you can. Oh. Oh, shit. Well, if I find a save point, I'll try and turn on the sound for you. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Uh, um, it's kind of not, because you really want to enjoy this game. Just look around. Touch everything. Books. Medical kits. Um, do you have any booze in your inventory? Did you grab some for... Yes. Good. What's that? Stop. I'm gonna pass it. Stop. Stop. <laughs> there. Thank you. It looks like a diary. It's gotta... Don't, don't forget to look for diaries and books. They're important and very good for giving you lore. Completely unable to recall what happened during... They admitted me again, found nothing wrong. Here I am, among the personal effects they returned to me is all their bound journal. Perhaps it will tell me when I've forgotten. Looking through the journal, all I can find is my life as a police detective. There's no hint of any illness, mental strain, or anything else that can explain why I change of personality or equally sudden recovery that still baffles doctors. However, a number of pages have been torn from the journal. Who did it or why? I can't tell. Did I destroy them myself to suppress some horrific memory? Or did asylum ju staff judge the contents detrimental to my treatment? Why was this part of my life erased? What is it that I can't remember? And who wants it to stay forgotten? Is it a precaution to protect my sanity? Or the key something I need? Local disturbance. I guess I'm the victim of my own success. After closing the last five cases so fast, my papers have been calling me a local hero. I just had a run of lucky hunches, that's all. I'm just another cop doing his job. So there's a disturbance at a local residence. There's probably just a bunch of kids popped up on some moonshine. Why call in a detective? Maybe the uniform boys are sore at be being out in this weather and they want to share the joy with some local hero. It wouldn't be the first good-natured prank I've had to take since uh, those newspaper reports. I don't know, though. Something doesn't feel right. It's more than just a regular bad feeling. It's hard to explain, but it's strong. I'm probably just tired. These dreams don't help. I remember when I got... I can't remember when I got my last good night's sleep. Must be a month at least. About the time I started my run of lucky hunches. The dreams have been getting worse lately, and I'm almost afraid to close my eyes. Bourbon helped at first, not anymore. Lack of sleep is affecting my nerves. Well, the jitters are not very good going. Have some clues. Anything that seems lighter color than your surroundings or things you want to touch, always. 